hello guys welcome to ruai so today guys i'm decided to bring you to one of those very growing uh suburbs it's growing at a really fast rate and i'm gonna show you exactly how their trading center looks like and uh, my name is nola chila by the way i'm a youtuber right here from nairobi kenya and i'm gonna be showcasing you their main market their main trading center and uh, tell you a bit of how it's doing and exactly the progress of it and this is where a lot of Roy residents uh Roy is not so far from you know nairobi you know nairobi extended outward so i'm gonna tell you a bit more about how exactly Roy is growing so so guys let's do this kindly subscribe like share and leave a comment so let me show you how it looks like So this is Ruai Trading Center. It is uh, the one serving the residents of uh, Ruai, which is a fast growing suburb right here in Nairobi. Now this is the market, but uh, in the future, there's a high probability the market is gonna be moved. As you can see, we have the famous Quick Mart supermarket right there. And traders on the side just doing their thing. So this road has just been put recently because of a lot of traffic on that route the government is trying to expand the government is slowly by slowly trying to expand uh, the main road so hence that's why the traders are being kicked out somehow there's a new market uh, space being set up for them but uh, they are not as eager to move there, and I understand why. Because you know, wherever you've set up, you have your own customers. So there's so many businesses that are conducted here at Hawaii Shopping Centre. We have the clothing business. And by the way, they do not have like a market day. It's like literally every day looks like this for them. So sand harvesting is another big business here. Uh, the lorries lined on the side here are for transporting sand. This is the main sand selling area because a lot of uh, constructions are going around this particular area. Um, Rai is one of those more or less rural areas but now because a lot of nairobians people who live in nairobi were looking for land to purchase and uh, have a home this is one of the places that people came to and so we literally say nairobi expanded outwards
So as you can see, sun business there. Quite a big business here. So it's a pretty much growing town. There'll be a lot of changes here in the next few years. Definitely. A lot of changes because infrastructure is still coming up. So there are a variety of things that are sold right here in Hawaii trading center. As you can see, there is maize, a mixture of clothes. We have uh, onions right there, tomatoes. Uh, this is the main market for a lot of farmers around this area because uh, Hawaii still has a population that farms. So fresh fruits, fresh foods are found here. So this particular tarmac road is pretty much very new. It wasn't in existence. The route looked more or less like this. This is how it looked. Very dusty and kept. But uh, the government is trying to expand the road, the main route. So over time, these traders are, are going to be pushed out of this particular place because there's a promise of a different center being built for them and that is what they, they are working on so technically this is how everything looks like before we have watermelons there So it's usually a very vibrant market, especially in the evenings when people come from work. There's a lot that goes on here because this is where anyone who lives around this area comes to shop. Now Rui is pretty much upper middle to lower middle class. Yeah. All these people here. So we have house owners. We have people who rent and then we have the natives of this particular place. They are all in this area. So the trading center is just on the route, just on the side of the road. It's a very visible place.
There's pretty much all kinds of foods. You know, enjoyed by the various tribes here in Kenya. So I want to get to the end of this and show you the tomato fruit that is being laid. I have no idea what the plants are by the government, but I think you have a glimpse of it right there. Second-hand clothes, thrifting. So a lot of these, uh, what used to be small village towns, small village trading centers are expanding rapidly <laughs> due to the uh, population growth and then the urban centers expanding outwards. It's just a brisk walk by the way, it's not like a big market. There's nothing like, um, you know, like a constructed inside market. No, this is just alongside the road. Just how you see it is the way it is. No exaggerations. The sewer system is not so good. Like you've also seen the, the garbage disposal also is a problem that we are hoping is going to be sorted. There's a lot of this being dug up because once a lot, if there is a road construction coming up or happening, there is definitely other factors affected. Like I'm sure the piping, the old piping system for water is being fixed at the same time to be able to serve uh, the population that is ever growing. So a lot of the business people here just transport their goods, come here, maybe on market days, which I I asked and I'm told there are no particular market days, but the, they sell them out of their trucks. You see right there? They sell them out of their trucks. It's a bit easier for a lot of traders in, uh, in Nairobi right now to sell from the back of, your, of the vehicles because it reduces the cost of having to pay rent for these temporary shelters, which can be quite expensive, you know. Sometimes, you know, small traders, you know, try to save every coin. And it's easier to move from one market to another when you're selling from the back of a car vehicle. It's easier that way. So this is Ruayi Trading Center. It's just a stretch, stretch of businesses, all manner of businesses. As you can see on the side, the people who have set up shops. So those these are, are the ones who are here permanently. So like I said earlier, here the government has set up a trading center for them, which I have no idea whether they are they are gonna move. It's usually a big problem right here in Kenya where traders just want to be on the roadside where they literally you know interact with their customers on a daily and they feel like when they are put at a certain designated uh, spot where it's, it's a gated market or something of the sort, it becomes expensive for them to carry out their jobs. But also at the same time, they feel like they're going to lose their customers because that means their customers have to always come to this particular place, which can be far away from what they are used to. Yeah, so they, the fear of losing customers is usually the highest and also the fear of having to pay more, extra, than what they've been paying. Because any controlled area definitely 
comes with its own charges. So technically, this is the trading center, guys. And here we are. So it's quite dusty. Even if you see my feet, you'll, you're gonna laugh. It's quite dusty, like, uh, it's bad. And it's the fine dust, fine, fine dust. So this is more or less the end of the market that is, but this is the road that the government is trying to lay. As you can see, it stretches up to the other end and then, you know, somewhere down there. Yeah, as you can see, there is a, there's a, uh, they call it a boulder. Yeah, the one that is currently doing this particular job. So uh, that means the traders, um, these particular traders, as you see the ones lined here and the ones lined on this side and the ones lined on that side, they'll have to be forced to move. And the reason why this is happening is because that is the main road that has always been serving the whole of this uh, entry to Y area. And it's quite small, so it's on a very busy day. You can just see, you can see, you can see traffic piling up. Yeah. So from that end, to that end that's how the big big the road will be expanded it's supposed to be two-way uh, that means vehicles coming in and going out will be using separate routes uh, that is the government's plan to just reduce on the traffic uh, so guys that is Ruai trading center the famous Ruai you guys a lot of people hear about Ruai it's growing rapidly it's one of the choice spots choice areas for a lot of Kenyans who are thinking of moving these sides uh, either to rent or to own homes here uh, land is sold you can easily just be a homeowner although right now because of its uh, demand the area's demand it is quite expensive really to buy land these sides I haven't really asked how much, what goes for what, but I can tell you for sure, it is quite expensive. So guys, that is Rui Trading Center. Rui is a very famous, famous, famous upcoming area right here in uh, Nairobi. It used to be a village, but right now, as you can see, it is growing rapidly. And I will take you some time later, I will take you inside how Rui looks like, uh, the residential areas. But currently, uh, at the moment, this is the market that serves this particular place. So guys, thank you so much for coming with me on this particular walk. I love doing this with you guys. So subscribe, like, share, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of Ruai. If you leave this particular site, how is the, how you, uh, you know, tell me something about it. Okay, till later. See ya.